Good night, YouTubers, and thank you for tuning into the dice special uh, for that toy review. Well, not special because I. It's quite funny that I only review one for that product these days. Oh my goodness me, what's happening to me, eh? Probably had a large meal. Uh, but I can tell you what, guys, so before I should actually start this toy review, I'm going to show you how gorgeous the sunshine actually is. Because I tell you what, even though it's about 22 degrees Celsius, and I know it's not like the warmest of the warm out of all the days so far, eh? Hey? Hey, I can definitely tell you what, it actually is quite stunning. It's so beautiful in a way. And with the towel fan, uh, despite how beautiful it is, it also is quite a tad warm as well too, but look at that. Noticing there's not many clouds here, eh? It almost looks like something out of the Middle East. That kind of sky. Uh, because there's not much clouds here, eh? Because if there was more clouds, well then it would have been much more humid. Wouldn't it? Or should I just said the word humid? Well, to be honest, it's not that humid because I think we had some northly or north easterly winds, I guess. That's probably helping the uh, temperatures to cool a bit down though, but hey, I have to say that this month has been quite interesting because we haven't had any dry weather for a very long time. Interesting, isn't it? But the toy I'm actually going to be looking at is this. And this is, of course, a Fluffer Origami Ponies toy. Now, I rarely ever cover these types of toys. This one is called the Fluttershy Frog Pond, Frog Bog Pond Transformation 12 Pack. £33. Once again, I think it's pretty much the uh, the same price. There it is. And uh, it looks like Fluttershy is missing her cutie marks, which is a bit strange. And a very strange looking, very weird rendition of the Fluffer logo on its very girly best. And I might as well just take a look at the back of the packaging, which looks like this. It's not actually that big. I can see Pinkie Pie, and there's a duck, and there's Twilight Sparkle. Oh my goodness me, I don't think I've ever actually covered uh, toys from this range. It's so nice to see some ponies outside. Eh? It's so beautiful. In but let's take a look at what we've got, because I'm quite curious as what everyone else is. Okay, let's take a look at the toys. Well, first off is Fluttershy. It actually reminds me of that, uh, what's that episode, is it, I can't really remember, uh, was it Read It and Weep It, I can't really tell which episode of Marlow Pony it is, but this is Fluttershy, yes, they've got names, this is Fluttershy, as you can definitely tell, okay, not sure if you can read that perfectly and accurately, yet, at the same time, it doesn't seem to read out the name very clearly, but, yes, this is Fluttershy, Nice to know, isn't it? Hey, it's pretty cool somehow. Love the hair and the uh, the detailing, of course, on Fluttershy. Just stunning. And then we'll take a look at Pinkie Pie next. Very nice for a pony, as you can definitely tell. This is Pinkie Pie. And there's the other side. I mean, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? It looks somehow somewhat very beautiful indeed for that rendition of Pinkie Pie. That's good, isn't it? Hey, if I show you the bottom of the pony... There it is, Pinkie Pie, of course. Lovely uh, hair fringe on the top or the mane. As a, it's like that of many horses. It's quite cool, isn't it? I love that detailing so much. There's the cutie mark on both sides of the way. And let's take a look at Twilight Sparkle. Yeah, I think for some reason I used to call her Natasha Amy Roberts. And Fluttershy as Mariah Jennings Fluttershy. But I won't go there too often because... You know, we can't name characters naming after, like, you know, real people in a sense. But that's how I think of it, hey? It's quite nice. And there's the other side here, too. It's quite nice. Maybe I need to make some more Model or Pony themed, like, toys. And in this set, we've also got some lily pads and frogs and a duck. Well, I mean, it's not really the best. But, um, yeah, I think it still looks A okay. It still looks great. Quite a bland looking duck. This basket here looks quite interesting. Uh, it looks like it's crumbled apart on my hands, but I think I can re assemble that like so, eh? It's like a little picnic basket. But this time, uh, there's a frog basket, because i got a funny feeling they would have been invading other people's ponds and stuff, or ponies' ponds, every pony else's ponds. Yeah, it actually is quite interesting, and, you know, I can easily fit the frogs in the envelope. Wouldn't that be a bit too cruel for Fluttershy to do so? Although I can definitely tell the Marlow Pony theorists often, you know, claim that Fluttershy is often 
very much an animal abuser, which I don't think so. In reality wise, well, Fluttershy is pretty much the pony I could probably suspect, suspect her into animal cruelty. That's my only gut feeling about this, but hey. There you go, take the frog out. And we've also got lily pads as well. Might show you off very quickly. Yep, they all look very much the same. The noise on the background is the tower fan because it's been relatively warm, about 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, but it's not really that hot, okay? Uh, probably it does when May starts like so, but hey, it is what it is. Probably going up towards summer, you know. But hey, I think I'm done with this toy product. So anyways, if you really enjoyed in this pretty simple Fluffy Origami Ponies toy view, please give this video a like. Subscribe for more from that videos in the future. And as always, thanks so much for watching and goodbye for now.